Ever want to see your favorite monkey take a trip to the moon? Well, keep watching Adventures with Artie. Hey everybody, uh, glad that you joined us for another Adventures with Artie. Uh, I'm Mr. Dan and you know we always like to talk about the big idea and we have a brand new big idea this month and now if you've never seen us before the big idea is something that happens inside you that can change the world around you and this month's big idea is honor, letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. And here to help me with this and to teach you about what honor is all about is my special pal, my buddy, my hairy monkey friend, Artie. Artie, come on out, hey buddy. Hey, everybody. It's Artie the Orangutan here. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> Your favorite favorite monkey pal right here. It's good to see you, Artie. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Great, Mr. D. I thought it would be really, really cool. Yeah. It, the, here uh, in front of all these kids. Yeah, the you kids know, that are watching. We, yeah, yeah. Kids from Michigan. Uh-huh. From Maine. Yeah, from Maine. From Kansas. Lobster, uh, from Colorado. Kansas. Yeah. From California. Uh-huh. Yeah. So they're all watching. Yeah. And if we would talk a little bit about what honor is. Yeah, oh yeah, I know everything there is to know about this month's big idea, Mr. Dan. You do? Yeah, well, I even know the color and animal. You do? Yeah. Already? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, every month we have a color and animal to help us remember the big idea. That's exactly um, this right. This month the color is uh, purple, right? That's right. Purple. This is a really cool cool color. Yeah, purple yeah. is a cool color. And, yeah. you know, kings wear it. It's kind of a symbol of honor. Yeah, yeah. that's really good, Artie. Yeah, yeah, but that's not all, Mr. Dan. Okay. I also know what this month's animal is. You do? And while it's not as cool as a monkey, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. All right. It's a narwhal. Do you know what a narwhal is? Uh, it's a unicorn of the sea. Yeah, it's kind of a funny an animal. It's and a yeah. whale with a horn. Yeah. That's it, awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Well, <laughs> uh, so uh, honor, which is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. So right. I thought. We should probably get to that. Yeah, I, so <laughs> I thought it'd be super important, super cool, if yeah. right now, live on video. On video. We would recognize somebody. Oh yeah, I think that's a great them, idea. And show them on someone very special, right? And so what I'm thinking someone about someone very special yes, and handsome. Yes, yes. And so what I'm thinking about is that we recognize me. That's right, everybody. We are here. You are watching to honor me. No, no. Yeah, uh, absolutely, Mr. Dan. I mean, come on. You couldn't think that I saw through your silly invitation. Hey, Mr. Artie, I'd like to meet with you to do a video about honor. <laughs> Obviously, you want to let everyone know how valuable I am. How are you going to do uh, it, Mr. Yeah, Dan? Art, is it some uh, super uh, awesome gift? How am I oh, going to do oh, what? You show me honor, Mr. Dan. I mean, come on. you got to show me how valuable I am. Okay. How valuable. Oh. You know what? what? I bet you I can bet. I what? bet you I'm so valuable that you got me a really cool gift. Yeah. Like a brand new convertible. I'm at least that valuable. Can you imagine me riding around in my own super awesome convertible? My foot reaches the gas, but I can't reach the brake. Ah! I should have worn a helmet. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, oh I know. Man, you wouldn't have settled for some crummy car. You probably got me a rocket, my own personal rocket. That would be awesome. I mean, can you imagine? I could hop in a rocket anytime that I wanted, take a ride to the moon, and join that prestigious group of primates that have been to outer space. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, maybe scratch the rocket. Oh, I know, Mr. Dan. You wouldn't get me a gift at all, did you? Exactly, because instead you want to honor me by giving me a new title, like your honor. Everyone, welcome to Judges Artie's courtroom. Order, I said order. Where's my bananas? <laughs> and give me a new wig. You know what? You wouldn't settle for some judge. I mean, come on, this is me we're talking about. I deserve a lot of honor. I mean, I am really valuable. I mean, without me, your videos would be really boring. I mean, I know what you did. You probably decided to throw out the results of the November election and make the right call. Who needs King Kong when you have King Artie? That sounds right. The big monkey sitting on the big throne. That's right, people. Bring me your bananas. Artie. Bring me bananas. Artie. King Artie speaks. Okay, Artie. 
So come on, Mr. Dan, am I gonna be king of the world? That's probably it. Come on, give me the awards, no. the accolades, the honor. Uh, How valuable am I? Okay, Artie, you remember when we talked a little bit uh, last week, I said, uh, hey, why don't you go look up Calvin Coolidge, and what did you say? I said, that's awesome, there's a guy named Coolidge? That's amazing. Yeah, you know what he did? Um, no. He was the 30th- He made a refrigerator. No. Is that right? No. He was the 30th president of the United States. Oh, okay. And remember, I gave you that little piece of paper, and I hung it up in your barrel, and I said, Artie, when we talk about honor, try to remember this. Would you like to read that for the kids? But, um, okay, hold on, let's see here. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I blew my nose on it. Oh, uh, Artie. Okay, uh, Calvin Coolidge said, No person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. Mm-hmm. See, honor is what we give to someone. It's not what we get from someone. So you're saying you didn't give me a convertible? That's right. But Mr. Dan, come on. You're supposed to let me know how valuable I am. Yeah, and I Give me the honor. No, uh, Artie, but we shouldn't be asking for it. We should be giving it away. You know, well, let's say uh, we have a lot of kids watching and we have a lot of teachers watching and yeah. counselors and some principals. Yeah. And so, but let's just give a couple examples, okay? okay. Let's say the kids are in the classroom, you yeah. know, it's a Friday. Okay. Everybody wants to go home. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. ready to get a break. The teachers are ready for a break. The weekend, baby. Yeah, that's right. And as the kids are leaving, they notice that all the chalkboards maybe are dirty. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of clutter in the room that the teacher might have to straighten up. Now, they can show honor to that teacher if they would just stay and say, hey, let's all clean this up together so the teacher doesn't have to stay late to do it. Or maybe the janitor won't have to come in and do so much work and we can show him honor by helping him out. So you're saying even though it wasn't their job. That's right. They would give their time away to clean the room? That's right. Or let's say the kids get home. Okay? okay, it's a Friday night. Friday night. Yeah, and their you mom. You know what that means? Banana what? steak. Oh, banana steak. Yeah, it's cool. You mash it up and fry it. Oh wow. Well, anyway, uh, so uh, you know, let's say their mom or their dad or their mom and dad are at home and they're eating dinner. Maybe they're having spaghettios, you know, and they're sitting around having dinner, okay. and and all of a sudden, uh, that you know, one of the kids might say, "Hey, uh, mom, why don't you or dad go sit in the chair and watch Judge Judy?" And I or will, Judge Artie. Yeah, and I, I will clean up the table and put the dishes in the dishwasher and empty out the trash and clean off the cupboards and put everything away because I want to show you how valuable you really are. And so I'm going to honor you just by doing this little bit of service for you. Well, you know, Mr. Dan, when I hear the word honor, I thought of awards and cool things that you get. But it's just like that quote, honor is really not about what you get. I mean, right. people that are honored are honored for what they gave. Like, your parents give you a lot of stuff. Your teachers work hard so that you can learn. Uh, and not to mention all the other people that need to be honored, like um, uh, well, like our, our policemen and our firemen and, yep. and people that, that help serve in our military. And exactly. Our all those people are giving something important. And, and it was after they gave something important that they were honored. Exactly. You got it, Artie. So you're saying if I want to be a king, I need to go serve some people. That's right. Okay, so listen, Mr. Dan, help me be a king, and let's go serve some people some bananas. Okay. And maybe we'll just take a little bit off the top, because, you know, just no. make sure the bananas are good. Okay. No. no. I'll be the banana tester. Hey, why, why don't you just say goodbye? Okay, well, listen, hey, thanks for tuning in to Adventures with Artie, everybody. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Well, kids... And teachers, it's time to wrap up for today, Artie. Yep, that's it. That's the show. Thanks for tuning in to our video. We hope you had a great time, and we hope you learned a lot about this month's big idea. That's right. And if you'd like to subscribe to our videos and get notification when they come up online, you can just hit this button right there. That's right. You'll be the first to know. And, of course, if you want to watch our other big idea video for the month, you can click the link right here, and it'll take you right to more big idea experience awesomeness. Or you can click on the links in the description for our Facebook page and our blog. We hope that you will do that shortly. That's right because there's tons of cool freebies for teachers out there that you can use every month and lots of great ideas from other teachers about how to put the big idea into practice at your school. That's right. And now, Artie, I think before we go, we really need to go over our big three Ooh. for the big idea, That's don't we? That's a great idea. Okay, the first one I can think of is maximize your potential. And that just means that you try your hardest all the time. And the other one I can think of is treat others right. Which just means you think about treating others the way that you would want to be treated. 
Oh, man, Artie, you are right on. And then the last one is make smart decisions. Which means that you will send me a banana. I no. think we have the address in the description as well. Okay, no, no? they don't need to send you bananas, oh, I'm Artie. Sorry. It, it just means you think about what you're going to do before you do it. That's right. And so, Artie, I think we need to say so long to everybody and hope they will join us next time for another edition of the Big Idea Experience. All right, yeah, that's right. We'll see you guys later. See you later. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.